Hi everyone, welcome to my third video and um, for this week I decided to talk about an article that I read. Um, this article is on cbc.ca and it's called the Uberization of the Canadian Economy. So basically what's been happening lately, it's a new trend, um, a lot of services that people usually are used to getting in person can now be requested using either a website or a mobile app. And this article begins by um, talking about a man in Edmonton who developed a an app called Trade Pros. And this app allows people to post their repairs and renovation jobs and um, they want contractors to bid on them. So on this app, projects can be small, like appliance installation or painting, but can also include much larger jobs, such as basement renovations or installing new flooring in a few dozen apartments. <clears throat> Trade Pros, which is expanding into Calgary in the coming months, is just one of the many new mobile apps popping up across the country that's cha changing the way people buy products and services. The apps could create structural changes, not only in their individual industries, but to Canada's economy and workforce. So other apps that exist um, include Rover Parking, where users can rent someone's parking space in Toronto, and Ask for Task, where users can book a cleaning or cleaner for a home. There's Crip Cut, where users can arrange for a haircut in their own house. Cloth, which is a man a man's uh, clothing app where Someone can take a picture of a, a like shirt or something, an item, and then post it on the app onto like a virtual virtual image of themselves to see how the item will look on them before buying it, which is pretty cool actually. I think I would use that one. And um, there's also Mo Snow Pros, which is a mobile app that connects homeowners with people who provide grass cutting and snow shoveling in Calgary. So these kinds of services are obviously very popular but they have caused some court challenges. While some of these apps are legal, there are also some who have caused issues with the provincial government because of um, issues with the law. So basically, the kind of issues that have happened due to these apps are, for example, on Airbnb, if someone decides to rent out their home on Airbnb, should they have to pay a chores and task imposed on hotels? Or if you drive a car for Uber, do you need the same license and insurance as a taxi driver? And if you rent out four parking spots on Rover, are you essentially running a commercial parking lot? So some of these services have been called illegal, while others have deliberately ignored city bylaws. But um, there is actually the former Ontario MPP, Tim, who had proposed legislation to embrace the sharing economy and legalizing firms like Uber instead of trying to fight them, which I personally agree with him and I think that we should just embrace the new technology and advance as the years go by. So that's all I have to say for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next.